Hey, so I have here question number seven for the discussion, which says a rubber sucker pressed on a smooth plane surface, then the sucker sticks to the surface because we are given these four options. Just try to think that why it happens. When you press the rubber sucker, what happens? The air between the rubber sucker and the surface gets removed. So the vacuum is created. It gets stick to the surface due to the high atmospheric pressure that is acting on the rubber sucker which is of the order of 10 raised to the power 5 pascal so if you just read the options the first option says pressure between the sucker and the surface is greater than the atmospheric pressure which is incorrect the second option says atmospheric pressure is greater than the pressure between the sucker and the surface which is correct the third option says atmospheric pressure is equal to the pressure between the sucker and the surface which is incorrect attractive force between the sucker and surface is developed which is given in the option four so which option is the correct option that is option number two let's just put it this into the box also so the correct answer for this question is option two i hope that's clear to you let's have a look on to question number eight this says in each case object placed on the smooth horizontal surface is acted upon by two horizontal forces as shown below so we are given these two figures case one and case two both these blocks are acted upon by two forces further the question says if the motion of the block is leftward in case one and rightward in case two so it means in this case the motion of this block is leftward it means it is moving towards left and this is moving towards right as per the question now we need to choose the correct option from the given options the first option says f2 is greater than f1 and f3 is greater than f4 so basically what we need to get from this question is that out of these forces f1 f2 which one is greater out of these two forces f3 and f4 which one is greater okay now here if in this case as the block is moving in the left direction so it means the net force that is acting on this block is in the left direction which force out of these two is acting in the left direction f1 or f2 obviously f2 so it means for this block i can write f2 is greater than f1 okay for this block this block is moving towards right it means that the net force which is acting on this block is towards right which force out of f3 and f4 is acting towards right that's f3 so it means f3 is greater than f4 so it was a pretty simple question so based on our discussion we can pick the correct option which is option number one so i can just put this into the box also so the correct option for this question is option number one let's have a look on to the next question this says choose the correct statement among the following so we need to look into the statements this says a rough surface has a small number of irregularities so the force of friction is greater the second statement says a smooth surface has a large number of irregularities so the force of friction is less statement 3 says the force of friction will increase if the two surfaces in contact are pressed harder the fourth option says the friction force acts only on one of the two surfaces in contact so basically all these four statements talks about the frictional force and if you read this carefully again you will get to know that only option 3 or statement 3 is correct because as per the option one this says a rough surface has small number of irregularities which is incorrect second statement says a smooth surface has a large number of irregularities which is again incorrect the fourth statement says frictional force acts only on one of the two surfaces in contact which is again incorrect because it acts on both the surfaces which are in contact on the other hand as per the third statement which is our correct statement the force of friction will increase if the two surfaces in contact are pressed harder so by pressing the object what we are increasing is we are increasing the force 
or the normal reaction gets increased and as we know that the frictional force is directly proportional to the normal reaction so it is going to increase okay so what is the correct option that is option number three let's put this correct option into the box so the correct answer for this question is option three let's move on to the next question for our discussion